first met Rick Bragg at a SEBA, Southern Independent Booksellers Association conference, almost 20 years ago when uh, he shared the stage with Carl Heiss. And, and I didn't know who Rick Bragg was, and I wanted that boy to get out of the way so we could be entertained by Carl Heiss. And before the evening was over, we wanted Carl Heiss to get out of the way so that Rick Bragg fella could entertain us. Rick represents a long tradition of unique Southern voices. And to show you how completely this has dominated American literature, between 1933 and 1977, Southerners represent a region where one-third of the nation's po poverty exists, one-fourth of the nation's population lives, produced 40% of its Pulitzer Prize winners in fiction. And of the 14 during that period from the South who won the Pulitzer Prize in fiction, Half were from Alabama and Mississippi, arguably the two poorest and most backward states in the, in the nation. And it's because we were having to wrestle with who we were, with our identity as a people. And Harper Lee is a classic example of someone who, who writes and wrestles brilliantly with that. Rick Bragg, I think, is just the new incarnation. Any listing of great writers, especially Southern writers, will probably have Rick Bragg's name. I try to think what separates him from other great writers, and I believe it's because his writing changes lives. In fact, I've heard him say uh, to young writers, write to change the world. Well, the South has probably the richest history of any, any nation, any, any part of the nation. We've had both agriculture, we've had slavery, we've had industrial, we've, we've seen it all. And, uh, you know, a, a lot of times I think the folks from the South always carry a chip on their shoulder. And people love it, just love it when we see someone who is not only proud to, for their Southern roots and can give the stories and tell people the richness of what a good people the folks of of the South and Alabama really are. And then not the, not the rich industrials that you see, not the carpetbaggers that came down here, but the people that lived and worked in, in the folks. And that's what Rick is the best at. And, and not only telling the story, but telling it in a way that just leaps out of the page. I think there's something special that goes on with Rick in, in terms of, of um, documenting the, the white families of the Appalachian foothills, the Piedmont. I compare Rick to Isaac Singer, who won the Nobel Prize, and Shalom Aleichem, and people who wrote uh, pieces like Fiddler on the Roof. Why? Because if the Jewish fiction writers of, of the 1920s and 30s and early 40s, if they had not written about the Jewish towns, the shtetls of Eastern Europe, we would know what they were like, because they're all gone. And I think the same thing is really true of Rick Bragg's writing. He is documenting a piece of American life. He writes about the textile mills. They're gone. He writes about uh, women being paid pennies for long days in the cotton fields picking cotton. That's over. A lot of what he writes about is preserved in his books and won't be preserved anywhere else.